book of love is long for me. No one can live without you. It's full of charms and facts and figures and instructions for dancing. But I Book of love has music in it. In fact, that's where music comes from. Some of it's just transcendental. Some of it's just really dumb. But I Book of love is long and boring and written very long ago. It's full of flowers and heart shaped boxes and things we're all too young to know. But I to give me wedding rings Brandon if you would have told me I'd be walking down the aisle and marrying you four years ago I would have never believed it. By me simply adding a comment to your Facebook and answering a text from you has been the best decision of my life. I think back to me being in Crown Point and you being in Naperville and texting back and forth for hours. I used to think to myself that you deserved the best and I never wanted to keep you from that. As the days, weeks, and months went by, I saw all that change. I saw how it felt to love someone unconditionally you have showed me so much, and I can't even begin to tell you how blessed and lucky I am to be the one taking your hand in marriage today. I have a promise to you. I will always love you and stand by your side from this day on. You are an amazing man, my best friend, a loving father, and most of all, my husband for life. Today, I do win.
closer together. That's okay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Brandon, I don't know if you want to say anything back to her now. He's like, man, that's low. <laughs> that's low. No, I, I'm, I'm not going to take that one back. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome uh, this evening as, as we're gathered together uh, to celebrate this union. Uh, as, as we come together, we come together in uh, love. We come together to celebrate the love that Annette and Brandon have for one another. And we come together in the love, uh, the fountain of love that comes to us from God and that is our source and our, our deep supply uh, of that love. And it is that love that we pray sustains you uh, in your life together as husband and wife. Uh, so in that spirit, let us uh, pray together. Gracious Lord Jesus, uh, as you graced uh, the presence of a wedding in Cana and Galilee, may you grace your presence here today uh, with us. Lord, we pray for your blessing on Annette and Brandon, we pray um, that as they join together as husband and wife, that uh, the love of those gathered here and your love uh, would surround them. Lord, bless this uh, gathering, bless this service, uh, bless this uh, time that we celebrate together. In your precious name we pray. Reading from Matthew 19, 4 through 6. Haven't you read, he replied, that at the beginning of the Creator made them male and female, and said, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Here ends the reading. A reading from 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts always hopes, and always perseveres. Here ends the reading. I'm going to share a um, passage to, with you from the book of 1 John, chapter 4. It says, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world so that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but he loved us. And sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is made complete in us. Here ends the reading. Annette and Brandon, uh, cheerleading that brought you together. And... Uh, as Nett said in her, her message to you, how she couldn't have possibly known four years ago that you'd be standing here today, that she'd be walking down the aisle to meet you and to become your wife. Um, but it was cheerleading that brought you uh, together. And you became actually a coach for her daughter, Natty. And, um, and uh, Nett became one of your clients <laughs> in that. 
And uh, one, you, you weren't too sure how that was going to work out. She, was, uh, she, was, she knew what she wanted in coaching, a little feisty. <laughs> and, uh, and apparently uh, she, she uh, got through to you in more ways than one as, she, uh, as you began to see her um, in, a, in a totally different light. This evening, as you make promises to love one another as husband and wife, you're surrounded by some of your bigger cheerleaders here, your family, um, those who are dearest to you, those who have been there along the way to support you and to encourage you. And these are the ones that continue to cheer for you and to lift you up and to support you. And they are the ones that you can turn to, continue to turn to in your lives, in the, in the good times and in the, in the tough times as well. And they will be there to cheer you on. Now, uh, Brandon and Annette, uh, instead of looking at me, you can take a moment to look at one another. As you look uh, at one another, this is your cheerleader. You have found in one another a companion for the journey, an encourager, a lover, a partner. This is a person whom you have come to know and to whom you can bear your soul. Yet even your love for one another is imperfect. You'll upset one another. No doubt you've probably done that a few times in the past. You'll hurt one another. You'll fail one another. Maybe intentionally, most likely unintentionally. There may even come a time when you feel that love that you have for one another is waning. But don't be surprised. And don't give up. You have a cheerleader who is rooting for you. In the passage from 1 John that I just read, it says, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Love, the love that you share for one another, the love that you are surrounded with here today by your family, this comes from God. He is the author and he is the creator of love. And he is the source of love that lasts. The Apostle Paul writes in that passage from 1 Corinthians, love never fails. Here he doesn't speak of human love but of divine love. So I, I encourage you in your marriage to draw upon God's love, a love that is patient and kind, never boastful or rude, not easily angered, and keeps no record of wrongs. And in this love, <laughs> may you always trust and always hope and always persevere. Brandon and Ned, if it is your intention to join together as husband and wife, to share uh, your joys and your sorrows and all that the years will bring with your promises to bind yourselves to each other as husband and wife. And we'll uh, start with you, Annette, and Sally. I, Annette, take you, Brandon. Be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death parts us, according to God's holy ordinance. I thereto pledge you my love. I, Brandon, take you, Annette, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death parts us, according to God's holy ordinance, and thereto I pledge you my love.
good. Need two of them. Excellent. Uh, these rings, um, of course, are circular in fashion, and uh, we know that a circle has no end. And we're reminded as we hear that passage from 1 Corinthians 13, love has no end. We know that human love um, and human life does end, but God's love for us never ends. And resting in that love, um, we know that God's love uh, is for us always. give you this ring as a sign of my <laughs> as a sign of my love and faithfulness <laughs> give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness Annette and Brandon, by their pro promises before God and in the presence of this congregation, have bound themselves together as husband and wife. Blessed be the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Let's pray. Lord God, constant in mercy and great in faithfulness, with high praise, we recall your acts of unfailing love for the human family and for your people. We bless you for the joy um, which Annette and Brandon have found in each other. And we pray that you give them such a sense of your constant love that, that they may have strength in life and, and praise you. We, uh, we ask that you pour down your love and your grace upon Brandon and Annette that they may fulfill the vows that they have made this day and reflect your steadfast love and their lifelong faithfulness to each other. As members of the body of Christ, together we support them in their life. And we pray that we might draw upon your love and the strength uh, of your spirit, and that they may do that as well, that they may have patience and affection and understanding, courage and love toward one another, toward you, toward the world, and that they may continue to grow uh, together in mutual love. Let us pray together the prayer that our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now may the uh, Lord God bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. Okay, thank you, congregation. It is uh, my great privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Brandon and Annette Wynn. You make us? <laughs>